Welcome back to the channel everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. I want to thank you so much for hitting that play button today. If you're stopping it for the very first time, my name is Chuck and I am a uh, LTL driver for a company called Estes Express. Uh, I'm a part of the what's called line haul division and uh, yeah there's no uh, I came in here last night oh I shut down probably about close to midnight. There was about four trucks in here. Uh, they're already gone of course because I came in after them. Uh, but I'm here in Houston Yesterday I did not record, but kind of a synopsis of what I did. I got up in San Antonio where you guys saw me shut down. I went from there to Dallas. It took me six hours almost. <laughs> Waco traffic, uh, construction. I got down. I always take 20 instead of taking 30. Um, good thing I did. But it, it's just, I mean, if you come to Texas, it's like driving in quicksand. <laughs> just, uh, I'm from from Texas. I love Texas, but now there's just way too many people in this state. Uh, so I got up to Dallas, uh, came back down to Houston, and uh, same thing, took five, almost five hours, uh, four and a half hours to get here. Uh, it was about 250 miles. Uh, it was a pretty good, I took a detour. Uh, I didn't come back the same way. I went down through Waxahachie, I think is how you say it. I may have butchered that. Um, I think it was 287 down to 45 to try to bypass all that stuff that was going on up in Dallas. It was just, man. So, laid down here. I'm headed to the terminal now. It is about 9.16 in the morning on Saturday morning, which is my Friday. And uh, we're picking up a uh, van, 53-foot trailer, and taking it up to uh, Irving, Texas, the home of uh, Trucker Josh. <laughs> No, he didn't have a YouTube channel. He runs too many miles to do YouTube. Uh, but we're going to go over to Houston. We're going to get our, over here to the Houston Terminal. It's about uh, six or seven miles away. Grab that van, head up to Irving, and then um, they know I'm going home. I told Anita, or I told the dispatcher, so I don't know if I'll go from there straight to, most likely straight to uh, Tulsa. They may send me up through Oklahoma City. Who knows? Uh, but guys, we'll see you uh, here shortly. So this is what a yard looks like on a Saturday morning. <laughs> Usually I don't come in into yards until late in the afternoon. People have dropped a bunch of stuff, but you can see all the pass-through trailers uh, or uh, Houston Freight. Their dock is totally empty. See, it's kind of nice when I come in here. I always make mental notes. So, like, if I were to come through here on a Saturday early and this was all full. Most likely, if it was Houston Freight, I would break the trailers and put them, like, over there, get them out of the way. But you can tell they also drop them over here. Oh, he just got through making a set right there, so. I'm picking up a van that's supposed to be right here, so we'll see if it happens to still be over here. Oh, we're picking up 511616. 511616, she right there. You gotta love GPS that we have on these trailers now. You can almost come into the yards and know exactly where the stuff is. You'll notice this right here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. That people net that's lit up. It's got blue, yellow, green, and orange. That means that um, the self-dispatch for this load is on here. So whenever I go to leave, I'll do everything through here. I don't have to call Central. I don't have to talk to anybody. I go through there, depart myself. When I get to Irving, uh, it will autom uh, I'll arrive myself there. And then um, hopefully they've got me pre-planned something to Tulsa. So we'll see... Uh, We'll see what happens here. I tell you what, I'm going to give a huge shout out to this terminal, Houston. This is the second time I've been here. First time I've been here when no one is here. Um, you know, I truly believe as I'm going around to all these different terminals, really they're a reflection of not only the staff there, but most importantly, they're the reflection of the actual terminal manager and the supervisors, those in management. Uh, you know, you can come into some of these yards and everything is just, you can tell that, that, that whoever the terminal manager is here or his, 
you know, people that are underneath him are very, very particular on how they like to do things. I walked in there, the bills were categorized by what terminal they were going to. I mean, you pick it up just like that versus I go into some terminals that are this size or a little bigger and it's a free for all. I mean, stuff is everywhere in there. It take you 45 minutes to find the paperwork. I find the paperwork in here in five minutes or two minutes, if that. Um, just everything here is just well laid out. And uh, again, huge kudos. This is definitely one of my top five so far terminals that I've been to. Shout out to everybody down here at the 165. You guys are rocking it. All right, guys, we're coming up on the, the terminal here. Another Estes tractor behind me. Now, I've never been to this yard, so we'll see. Uh, we're going to visit this at the same time here. Turn right. Turn right. Oh, no, we'll do it. One of these trucks in here is Josh. Probably this white one right here. Texas edition. Uh, let's see. I'm afraid to go around that corner because I don't know what the heck. There's all the vans right there. If this guy wasn't behind me, I would have taken my time here. And... All right, here. We're going to put it right here. PND backing skill right there. All right, guys. We got uh, we got a set that was here, and we're actually taking it over to uh, Dallas. So we're going a whopping seven miles, and then uh, hopefully, most likely, they're sending me over there. This is some freight. Let's see where this came from. This came from uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan, and Rockford, Illinois. Uh, is where these trailers came from. And I'm gonna take it over here to Dallas, drop, and then. They should have me, uh, they should have me planned on, let's see if they happen to have me planned on anything yet. No, when I get over, they should have me something going to, going to the house. Well, we're all hooked up. We've got a couple of trailers. Well, I'm headed to Tulsa, but I've got a couple of trailers. One's from here in Dallas. Well, they're both from here in Dallas. One's going to Springfield, one's going to Tulsa. Huge shout out to Jose over at the truck shop uh, here at the Dallas terminal. He uh, fixed my door. This right here fell off. <laughs> it was a uh, screw or something was inside there, so he snapped another one on there. I was going to have him work on the hood because it's vibrating because that latch doesn't work. And he said, yeah, unfortunately, these Volvos, we don't carry anything in stock on them because don't, they don't buy them anymore. Uh, he was going to have to see if a shop has one or uh, they may have to order it. So next time I'm at Kansas City, uh, hopefully uh, uh, Steven will have that part. I think he does. We'll be able to get it fixed because uh, that's kind of getting annoying. 
You know what? I could care less if Central ever sends me back down to Dallas. <laughs> I don't know what it is about this state of Texas, but it is, it, you can't get away from it. It's probably like this on Sunday morning, too. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. And I, I checked the Google Maps, and going the other way through 635 was red all the way. I was like, this had less red, but... I don't know, man. I don't know if it's all the Californians that have moved here or what. But it's just amazing. I mean, it's. I understand it's Saturday, you know, four o'clock in the afternoon, but sheesh. You, you can't. You literally cannot get away from it. It's everywhere you go down here. Get me back to Tulsa. Just like that, guys. We are back in Tulsa. Uh, took her by the Blue Beacon. Look at her, boy. She's looking sharp. You know, hey, you gotta take pride in what you got. Take good care of your wagon. Your wagon to take good care of you. Look at them rims. I tell you what, Essis has got a sharp truck when it's when it's clean. Look at them rims. Look, I mean, the guy sprayed down my chains really good for me and everything. Yep, one of these days, though, one of these days, somebody's going to see this at uh, over in Ops or whatever, and they hook me up with one of those brand new Freightliners, man. We'll keep that sucker looking good, but until then, we'll we'll keep uh, we'll keep the Volvo looking as sharp and as clean as we possibly can, because uh, you know you want your office to look good, guys. If you're out there, take pride in your equipment. Um, it may cost you a few bucks, but hey, it's well worth it. Uh, guys, I think that's going to do it for this vlog. I want to thank you so much for stopping by and spending a few moments with me today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the journey today. We went from uh, recap, went from Houston up to Dallas, uh, Irving, Irving to Dallas, and Dallas back here to Tulsa. But guys, until I see you next at the next video, I hope each and every one of you have a blessed rest of your day. And remember this, life is truly short. Make sure you make it sweet.